So at CPAC, quite literally anything is possible, the Conservative Political Action Conference, I was going to share with you an, an, an interview uh, that, that I had done uh, with Sean Spicer, and I was going to get into that, and that was the plan. And then Matt Whitaker showed up, served as the acting attorney uh, general oh, under uh, President Trump. And Cash Patel, I, we have actually never met. Yeah, sorry about this that. This is crazy. Uh, give people really quick. Uh, uh, let me do it. No, oh, no, oh, no you it's want, more fun. You want it, sir? So, so Cash, <laughs> Cash uh, is amazing. He's a former terrorism prosecutor. Uh, he Trump brought him in uh, on NSC to work on counterterrorism measures. He then uh, was the uh, chief of staff with Rick Grinnell when Rick became uh, ODNI. And then he went to be chief, Chris Miller's chief of staff when he was mm. at DOD. The only job I didn't get that I wanted to be was Matt Whitaker's yeah. chief of staff, but it was taken. Some have time. rumored that he would yeah. be the next FBI director of the <laughs> Trump administration, but I don't want to start those kind of things on uh, national radio, Tony. Well, yeah, well, it's a bit late for that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, honestly, so this is the second time I have heard you uh, on this show be as as clear as day about uh, uh, second Trump administration like like you are are you convinced are you convinced this is happening I, I'm not clairvoyant but <laughs> certainly uh, Donald Trump has announced he's running for president and uh, you know because of that I think he stands of you know you can't win the lottery if you don't have a ticket right and he's got a ticket uh, move to the American people in 2024 is going to be very interesting we got a lot of uh, time between now and then, but what do you think, Cash? I, I think Matt is one of the best legal minds we ever had in the Trump administration. We're going to totally and ham some, and And right some now, say <laughs> he should have been the attorney general. That's a story for another day. Some people have said that. Um, so, like, yeah, we go around the country with President Trump, and we know he's all in. So we're all in. And there's going to be other candidates that run and more that announce, but we just don't see, I just don't see... The WASTA that other car candidates have, and the, the difference he has versus everybody else that's going to run or is running is he can tell the American public, look what I did, and it worked on whatever issue you want. That's unlike any other president who's running for president can do because they're usually timed out. That is true. Talking with uh, Matthew Whitaker and Cash Patel, by the way, you were the chief of staff to the acting United States Secretary of Defense under President Trump. I have, yeah. I have that. Accurate. So I want to make good. sure I've got the official titles. Official titles nah, matter. You, know. you worked hard for that. It's like it's like not calling uh, Barbara Boxer ma'am. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to, to, to call you ma'am. As you guys look at this race and you're giving this advice and, you, and you're, 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 you're planning, you're strategizing, you're sharing, you're thinking, what does this race come down to? What is 2024's story? Is it a story of competence? Is it a story of specific policy? Where do you view it? Yeah, the, I frame this, you know, as an Iowan, as somebody that spends a lot of time talking to, you know, early state voters in my home state and also just talking to ordinary Americans. I think a lot of 2024 is going to be a choice. I mean, I think we always I think we thought that that 18, 20 and 22 were kind of that choice. And everybody was saying, you know, this is the end of the republic if we don't uh, if we don't win an election. Um, I actually think. It's going to take more for the American people to have it clear in their mind. Um, you know, we're most likely heading into a recession, and um, it could be a severe recession. It, it, you know, it could be a light recession. We'll see how how uh, the uh, you know star chamber uh, masterminds of the <laughs> masters of the universe uh, direct this economy on us. You know, there's a soft landing, a hard landing, whatever it is. That's going to be that's going to affect real Americans. And I and I and I just I think. Where I come from, it's it's common sense, it's hard work, it's you know clear-minded, family-focused, and I just think we are seeing the the increasing divide between the coastal elites, uh, the people that you know think that uh, on the on the front page of the Washington Post a couple of days ago you had a, a nine-year-old transgender child with the mom. You know, talking about how this kid is transitioning, to, you know, from a boy to a girl or a girl to a boy, whatever it is. You know, it, it, it's, it's like that. that is that people in Iowa and the people in flyover country where I'm from, it just they, they don't tolerate this nonsense. And that, so, that is going to be very clear on the ballot. To that point, Cash, is this going to be a social 
election or is this going to be a straight up economic election? I think it's all. I think what you've seen with, uh, what Ma I think what Matt was highlighting is the social policies that have been put out by the radical left wing's agenda and with the assistance of the media, they've injected social policy back into a presidential debate where it probably didn't have space before. And what Matt, I agree with Matt wholeheartedly, um, it's, and I just don't, I don't think it's just flyover country. I think a lot of, Amer most if not all of America, is saying, well, I want my kids to be educated in the way I want them to be, and I don't want my child to be talked about, about talking about sexual orientation and transgender uh, makeovers and things like that, and that just hits home. Yeah, and to put a finer it. point on 15 it, seconds. okay, put a finer point on it, I, I really think that um, you're seeing the left's coalition be very hard to hold together with these policies. Uh, now that that's one, true. I think that's accurate. Matthew Whitaker, Cash Patel, I appreciate Thanks, you guys. Hey, Just stop by and hanging out. And by the way, he cracked a soda, not a beer. <laughs> In case you heard that. <laughs> Don't tell On anyone. the air right there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, sure. that was fun.